Okay, well, uh, autism spectrum disorder is a disorder that affects the way somebody socially interacts, the way somebody kind of perceives their environments, what they're interested in. It's a neurobiological disorder, so it impacts the way the brain grows and functions. Um, and it's interesting because it's very heterogeneous. Autism looks very different in different people. Some people with autism uh, can't talk, while other people can go on and get a college degree and work and even get married. And so this poses a really interesting conundrum for a scientist to try to parse this heterogeneity. There's a very, very large spectrum. Um, but one of the fundamental defining features is this really big challenge with social interaction and understanding the minds of others. You know, it's, uh, it's really so interesting. When I was in college, uh, the concept <clears throat> that was put forward was of the refrigerator mother, that somehow the mothers of these young babies were somehow responsible for inducing these changes that you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, it's even painful to even think about that. Mm. It was completely toxic, completely wrong. We know now that autism begins in the womb. There's a lot of evidence to suggest that what we see at autopsy or postmortem tissue, for example, increased number of cells. We know that cells are generated prenatally, prenatally during, you know, throughout a couple of um, first two trimesters, mainly in babies. And so, if you're seeing abnormal numbers of cells, that definitely suggests that autism is a prenatal disorder. Um, so, what happens is not caused postnatally by a vaccine, by something somebody did. Um, there might be some interactions with environment postnatally, but largely, what's going on with autism is prenatally. So, we've gone beyond that really uninformed time of thinking that uh, maternal behavior had something to do with that.